to, to get better at GeoGuessr, we are... Um, let's see. We're learning about Europe right now. Uh, wait, wait, hello game, let me... Okay, it's going, it's going. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can... Yeah, yeah, you're... You're welcome to message me in Discord, yeah. Yeah, hopefully everything will be alright. Um, alright. So, we're gonna play a... We're gonna play a quick GeoGuessr game. Um... So earlier we played GeoGuessr. Um, we learned about UK, France, Spain, Portugal, and Belgium. So we'll do another like five. Um, you know, learn like Netherlands, Germany, Ger uh, you know, Switzerland, Italy. You know, slowly learn everything. I mean, I still let's go back and kind of like just refresh. Okay. Um, so the bowler, bollards are black, white, and red with a little, uh, red reflector on it. Um, UK all, often has single or double yellow lines with white in the center. Roads are M3 or A. Um, A or M for major roads. Their uh, map, A are main roads, B are usually smaller. A2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 is their, like, um, what is this exactly? The, the numbers seen on this map are, are always second in the naming. Okay, A380. Oh, okay, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. Electric electricity poles look is like wooden and then it has like a little yellow sticker on it. License plates are white on the front, yellow on the back. Okay. Welsh, Scottish can have uh English and Welsh. Okay. Or Wales can have Mix of Welsh and English. Okay. You also have B roads. Yeah, yeah. We're legit studying. Yeah, yeah. Legit. <laughs> literally, literally. <laughs> oh, let me actually. Let me start my. Um... We got to get good at at uh, GeoGuessr. Slowly getting gonna get better. Okay, let me turn on my Manny Aura too. All right, cool. We should be good. All right, so Spain, so UK is the only one that drives on left hand side of the road, and Malta apparently. So, but Spain is. Um, they also have like meta stuff where it's like, antenna, long antenna. Bollards are. Black and white, or black and yellow, kind of slanted, and white, okay, road lines, thick red borders, actually this picture is not loaded, so we can't really see this, but information signs for Spain have thick red borders, okay, Spain uses blue, white, yellow, brown back signs, electricity poles are wooden or in concrete, has little holes in them. This is kind of so you kind of know it's like Spain. It has like little those holes in them, like that. Yo, what's up, Zoe? How you doing? Uh, the best geoguesser yet was the one you could name the roads. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It it gave you exactly where uh you live. <laughs> uh yeah, we're pretty good. We're collecting clues and learning. Um. Learning about uh, Europe, so we can play GeoGuessr like really good. Um, so Spain has a large variety of landscapes. Uh, lush forests in the north, drier shrub and landscapes in the south. So 
So, um, Alpine Mountains on uh, on the Andorran border. Okay. Canary Islands are very like rock, black soil. Um, houses are colorful or white. Um, and yeah, they're Latin based. Okay, they got a lot of regions, provinces. And dot yeah. We're just going through these, or at least the ones that we've already done really quick. And the other ones will um, do slower. Those houses remind you of Minecraft? <laughs> uh, what did I just do? Sport, uh, Spain, right? Okay. Um, okay, let's see. Let me lower this a little bit. So. So, Portugal has the same, like, slanted bollard, but it's black. Um, Portugal uses white lines, all white lines, okay. Uses a couple different types of signs, but they're pretty useful to identify. Um, white, brown, and blue signs, okay. It has, it has this, like, little sign right here. You know it's Portugal, I assume. White signs that have like little arrows. Okay, Portugal. Um, oh, electricity poles also have little concrete, but these are squares instead of those other looking ones. Um, blue and yellow on both sides of the license plate. Region code is number nine. Or mobile numbers begin with nine. Okay. Dry looking country, but still very green. North. North has mountains. South is more flat for Portugal. So you gotta remember that. Um, Azores, the Portuguese island in the Atlantic Ocean. Sequeira is the flattest. Um, looks really nice. San Miguel, Sao de Sao Miguel is mountainous. Has a lot of cattle too. Madeira is mountainous, volcanic Portuguese island off the Moroccan coast. Um, also has very like small, unique bollards. Okay. Houses are white with orange tiled roofs. Um, okay, yeah. And yeah, they use Latin. Portuguese, speaks Portuguese. Latin script, okay. Cool. And I think one more we did. We did, um, Belgium. So let's look through Belgium real quick. So refresh. They have, like, these meta stuff. Like, you can see the cars, small antenna, it's invisible, like a little red at the back with the long antenna, or a little blue. Yeah, I kind of, I don't like these meta things, but it helps, I guess. It helps, it definitely helps. Um, they have a lot of different bollards, the white one, white and like, yellow, white and white, white and red bollard, blue. And white um has these little two things at the side this is belgium very small ones with the white and yellow reflector 45.4 this is uh also this one black and white and red so most belgium roads have a single stripe white line or no road lines at all they also come across these multi-dot lines. Um, okay. Bike lanes. Or no roads at all, or no lines at all, okay. And then these are the multi-dot lines. Road signs are blue. Directions to other cities are blue. 
Um, in a district of Belgium, it's like it looks like this. Local directions from highways are like this, and little green and yellow on the yeah. Inside the cities of Belgium, they have this city name at the top. City polls are like this. They also have wind turbines. License plate blue and red and white. Belgium phone numbers all start with zero. And yeah, okay. Uh, Veg what is this? Belgium has three main geographical locations in the northwest, central. Ardennes Upland and Southeast. Okay. So this one is Northwest looking. Um, this is Central Plateau. And this is what? The other, what is it called? Ardennes. Okay. Yeah. Architecture looks like this. Oh, let me drink a potion. And it has like the little Bollard, that remind you know you're in Belgium. Okay. Bike lanes and the little white Belgium. Okay. Dutch North North uh, Belgium, French South Belgium. And little German. Dot B E is Belgium. Okay. Alright, let's play one GeoGuessr game and then we'll uh, learn more. We just did that was like a fast refresher, but on what we did earlier. All right, so this looks like UK or U not UK US not US. Sorry, what is it called? Europe. Where most uh, this is a new RS update, yeah. <laughs> um Muevet dot com Okay, this is it it has a U like it's probably Spain, I assume, but uh uh, yeah, yeah, it's it has those like same like looking um signs. I assume it's Spain, but I don't know. RS Go, yeah, yeah exactly. We're playing RS Go. <laughs> um, plus thirty four. I don't know what that. No, no, but it would have something else. Instead of dot com, right? Oh, well, we don't have that much time, so thirty nine seconds. Oh, dot es es is uh. Wait, what is the es? Estonia. Um, I can. That's all I can think of. Es. Espana? Espana? Oh, okay, okay. Maybe Spain. Alright. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is Spain. Um, yo, so, Agent Smith, we're, um, collecting elite clues. So while we collect elite clues, we're playing GeoGuessr. So, um, and we're learning about GeoGuessr, like, GeoGuessr tips in, after this five minutes is up. Um, uh, Planiska Zurka. Oh wait, wait, it says something there. Dot RS. Um, RS is Romania, I think, right? Russia? No, RS. Russia is RU. Serbia? It could be, but it could be, it could be. 
I'm pretty sure it said RS. But look at the lettering. And it also has 062. Yeah, I really like this game too. Like, we're learning a lot too. Like, I like this game too. I'm thinking it's Romania. I'm gonna go Bucharest. We're 200 miles away. Okay, you were right. I think it's... It was over here. Um, I can't move the mouse or else I could see. But it was... It was not Bucharest. It was over here. Oh, you googled RS of Serbia? Uh, okay, okay. I see, I see. Okay, this definitely is Ukraine. I am assuming because yellow building, maybe. But it could be Russia, too. Uh... I mean, it could... I mean... The lettering looks... Russian, or... But a lot of yellow. That's Greek? That's Greek lettering? Okay, never mind. That's Greek lettering? Okay. Alright, I guess we'll go- we can go for Greece. Uh... Since we have one minute, I'm just gonna look around. B- B Y N. That's Cyrillic? Oh, okay, okay. It is. I, I'm assuming it's Ukraine, but I had no idea where. I'm gonna go... Ukraine. Uh, 116 miles away. It was in Kharkiv. Okay, okay. It's a... It's like a... Like, their lettering, basically. Which, you know what? We should look at... Hmm... Okay, so Cyrillic alphabet. Um, was a Greek monk who invented with Methodist written language to Christian converts in the nineteenth in the ninth century. Okay, in what is now Russia. Based on the Greek alphabet, it is based on the Greek alphabet. So, um. So it looks like this. Yeah. Uh, later sections of cursive forms developed early 18th century. Okay. Interesting. Uh, letters in the parentheses indicate English. Transliteration. Oh, okay, okay. So A, B, V, G, D, E, Z, H, Z sound, I, Y, K, J, L, M, N, O, P. Um, okay, okay, so. Okay. We'll uh, try to keep that in mind. Need to drink a potion and this. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna learn a couple more Europe tricks and tips and tricks. So we did those five countries. Now we'll go to Netherlands. Netherlands drives on the right hand side of the road. Um. This is a flag, okay. Country flag is very similar to the one in Lu of Luxembourg, 
with the exception that the blue part of the flag is darker for Netherlands and lighter for Luxembourg. Okay, interesting. Has 12 provinces that each have their own flag. Uh, you may come across one of these flags, which may help you narrow down your options. Finding these will be very rare, though. Oh, okay, okay. Friesland, Gron Groningen, Drenthe, Overgesil, Gelgerland, Utrecht, Nordholland, Zuidholland, Evoland, Limburg, Nordbrab. Bant and Zealand. Okay. Capter capital city is Amsterdam. Yep. Most helpful. Yellow license plate. Okay. Um, Netherlands uses all lic yellow license plates. Okay. They also have white dashed shoulder lines, which makes figuring out your Netherlands easy. Okay. So, white dashed lines on both sides of the road. And incredib incredibly flat. Okay. Um, uh, kind of meta. This this is like you can see the shadow of the car, and it looks like this. It's generally hidden. Google Car is generally hidden in Netherlands. However, you can see the shadow. The shadow can be seen often, which also reflections in the window can be spotted. So it's kind of cheat to to use this use this but you know i guess people use it still for geoguessr you need raksha tank for your reaper good luck good luck no you should i think you can do it bro you got this you got this raksha is not too bad it takes a while to learn solo though especially because of the uh, surges i mean the uh, pools but Got this. How you doing, Alt One? Um, okay, there's also a chance you can find the antenna on the back of the car. It's not in every region, but it does exist enough to be mentioned. Okay. You got this. You got this. Okay, this is the most common bollard in the ne Netherlands. White with a red reflector. These bollards can mostly be found on the right side of the roads and highways. Okay. Less common also on the right side of the road are black bollards with red reflectors. Ooh, okay, that's interesting. Full black bollard. Um, bollards on the left side of the road are less common, but often white with a white reflector. Okay. Yo, appreciate the lurk, DJ. Um, okay. You can also find ballers with distances on them, counting from the start of the road till the end. Oh, okay, so 37.9. Okay, okay. Ballers with multiple reflectors also exist. Interesting, okay. Multiple reflectors. And the little... The count of it. The distance. Um, following bollards can also be seen along smaller roads in between cities and towns. Okay. The following bollard. Oh, okay. The following bollards. I read, read that wrong. Black and yellow. Red. And it has the number sign on it. Okay. Google coverage is... Most, if not all, roads in Netherlands are covered. There are some spots in... On the West Friesen Islands that to the north that do not have full coverage. Okay. If you see a field of green, it is likely that there is not coverage there. Stick to the roads and you should be fine. Okay, okay. Unique vehicles. When you spot some hair on the picture below, you know you're in hog. Bellevue region, just north of Arnhem. Okay, so somebody's hair is flying. <laughs> um, Hogvalu. Uh, just north of Arnhem. I have no idea where Arnhem is. Let's see. Oh, right here, right here. So somewhere over here, I guess, north of Arnhem. 
Okay. Yeah, not much hair, but <laughs> there's some hair. Alright. Road lines, double white um uh, stripes with the green line in the middle means cars are allowed to go hundred kilometers per hour. Oh that's interesting. Damn, okay. You can go fast on these. <laughs> Damn. Uh, double double white stripes in the middle without green lines means cars are allowed to go to 80 kilometers per hour. Okay. No lines in the middle means cows are allowed to go... Cars, not cows, are allowed to go 80 kilometers per hour unless a 60 kilometer per hour sign is shown. Okay. So double... White lines with the stripe, not uh, stripe, but spotted, I guess, on both sides are Netherlands. Okay. They have a lot of cycling lanes as well. Okay. Okay. Road signs. Uh, they will have either Lee L, I, or R, E written on them to indicate uh, that you are on the left or right side of the dri uh, driveway. Okay. Uh, the number of the signs indicate the distance in kilometers from the start of the road. Okay. Quite often, the road number is clearly visible, giving you a great hint to figure out where you are. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, if they could go that quick, yeah, that would be something if cows could go 80 <laughs> kilometers per hour. Okay, what a lot of people don't know is the hectometer pole are arguably the best way to locate yourself on the map. Besides the national hectometer signs, a lot of provinces have local ones too. And if you want, if you know them by heart, you'll guess them automatically. You will be automatically be better. Okay. Drenth is 6.6. .6. Bevoland is 5. What is this? N5.4? Friesland is 4.6. Greg Gelgerland is 1.5. Oh, okay, so these are like provinces that you gotta like. No, okay, okay. Hmm. Uh, Grongen, 10 dash, or slash, comma, 9. Limburg, 7, 1. Nordbrand, looks like this. Okay, 21. Oh, man. Dude, there's so many provinces. Oh, shit. Uh, Nord Holland, 0, 9. Uh, nine eight is over Giselle. Uh, zero four Utrecht. Zealand looks like this. Seven zero. Uh, Zuid Holland is twelve point five. Twelve dash comma five. Okay. Uh, road. Directions to cities are generally blue signs with white letters. Um, a for road, red for A roads, green for E roads, yellow for N roads. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Um, the example above is a yellow road. Marks is one of the few examples of toll roads in Netherlands. Yellow signs with black letters are warning signs with instructions. Think about detours, road constructions, or when two lines merge into one. Okay. Okay, okay. Interesting, interesting. Um, 
Overhead digital road signs can be found above highways. Most of the time they're not used, but you can see the X's on them or numbers with special limits too. Okay. They also have that. Nice. They have a lot of information on Netherlands. When exiting a highway, you'll often see this sign. Ute. When entering a tunnel, you'll also see this sign. Okay. Local areas within cities have white borders around them. Um, examples are ring roads, neighborhoods, or directions to harbors. Okay. So white's white around it. Let's see. They can often be seen on highways and within cities. Okay. Brown signs normally show tourist information. Okay. Red and white signs like these um, are directions for cyclists um, and a very clear indication that you're in Netherlands. Okay. So white and red signs for cyclists. Netherlands. Um, okay. Uh, most common, um, they end, street signs in the Netherlands look like this. Most common, they end with strat, weg, pad, or pleen. Street, road, path, or square. Okay, okay, that's what that means. So, weg is road. Strat is street. Pad is path. Clean is square. Okay. Alright. Interesting, okay. On stain pad. Uh, path. Uh, Pleen is square. Okay. Uh, Feet's pad mean bicycle lane, not street name. Don't look for a street name. Feet's pad on the map. Okay. Oh, yep, yep. No worries. Appreciate the lurk. Yeah, yeah, do your thing, do your thing. Electricity poles in Netherlands look like this. Ooh, okay. Oh, this is blue. What is this? That looks interesting. Uh, okay, the reclaimed land of Flevoland, as well as the northern Wadden Islands, don't have such typical electricity poles. Okay. There as well as in other parts of the country, you'll find electrical windmills. Okay. And that little tiny red and white bollard. License plates, yellow. Same front and back. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So... Release year 1951 is 999. But we're not going to be able to see these because they're going to block them out. So I, I don't think these are really helpful. I mean, it's nice to know. But. Phone numbers uh, within Netherlands are systematically arranged. Uh. Numbers starting with 01 can be southern part of the country, 02 northern, 03 can be found in the central. 08 are toll free numbers. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's, it's going to be really hard to remember these. <laughs> but okay, okay. We'll, we'll try to remember. 04 southern, southeastern, 04, 05 northeastern. So it goes like one southeast to northeast or northwest. Okay, okay. Three central, four southeast, five northwest, northeast. Okay. okay, landscape. It looks like this. Dune areas and overgrown beach plains are unique in Europe. Okay. 
Many will be surprised, but vegetation within Netherlands is very diverse. Okay. There's part of that list I thought you were reading travel advice for some uh, some site. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, you thought I was just reading some travel advice? <laughs> uh, large low beet pogs. Oh, this looks interesting. This grassy, very interesting. Um, ni ni wu ni kup ve streak northwest over Jessel in Friesland. Find no equivalent anywhere in Western or Southern Europe. Okay. Okay. Um. Oh, very flat. Okay, okay. It could be, it could be. <laughs> it could be, it probably is. <laughs> um, the same applies to Ostvardens Plassen in Frivoland, created by land recom rec reclamation. So hard to read. <laughs> okay. The moraines, moors, high moors, fens, and deciduous forests, river valleys, brooks, and springs located in the east and southeast, in the south, each have their characteristic, characteristic vegetation. Okay. Okay. I don't know, it's it's really hard to tell the difference between vegetation. I gotta we gotta like really study these. In the extreme south one finds a plateau landscape plateau landscape within within the valleys of a rich flora, partly bound by lips, limestone, which differs greatly from that from the rest of the country. Okay. Very, very, yeah, very lush. In addition, mankind has influenced landscape and plant growth for thousands of years, mainly through small scale and ver varied agriculture. Okay. Oh, damn, look at this. Specific tree. There's a lot of different trees in Netherlands, but if we talk about specific ones, then nine turns out to be very common. Um, they can be found in countries, in other countries. So seeing one of these trees is not a giveaway, but it it's a helpful. Okay, it, it helps. Okay. So let's look. So this is called the beech tree. Okay. A birch tree. An oak tree, Scots pine, um, elves, um, ash tree, okay, a maple tree. Wait, wait, no, no, is the one underneath it the name of the tree? No, no, it's above it. This is beet, this is birch, yeah, this is oak, Scots pine, elves, ash, maple, elm. Poplar, okay. Um, poplar, yeah, yeah. Okay. Architecture: the Dutch Golden Age roughly spanned the 17th century. Due to the thriving economy, cities expanded greatly. Uh, new towns, halls, storehouses were built. And many new canals were dug out for the defense and transport purposes. Houses in cities were generally very narrow, okay. In the countryside, larger houses were built, though not as many, okay. So, very small, okay, I see it. Okay. 
uh, some some towns are still very traditional, like the Zanzis, the Chan, for instance. I'm probably butchering these names, but okay. This looks interesting. Other places are more modern, both in the cities and in the countryside. Okay. This looks like UK to me, basically. Well, this architecture, right? Rotterdam is a very modern city when it comes to architecture. Outskirts were partially unharmed during World War II, but the city center was totally destroyed. Oh, damn. Instead of rebuilding like it was before, as they did in many other cities, Rotterdam chose to build a new city. Okay. Lots of skyscrapers and unique architecture can be found in the Manhattan of Europe. Um, very different from the rest of the country. Oh yeah, that looks very different. Oh, this building looks really cool. I like the windows. It's like a little circular and then like a... Nice. Uh, this looks like a flying saucer right here or something. What is this? Yeah. Netherlands is a country of cute little villages with canals and small little bridges. Okay. This is also the country of dikes protecting the people of water, which are often full of cows or sheep. Okay. You have so much information about Netherlands, dude. <laughs> I'm just like constantly reading. Um, okay, where are we at? We're almost done. Okay. The Dutch love fields of flour, windmills, more windmills, and of course, bicycles. Okay. Um, yo, what's up, fake ID? How you doing? Long time no see. It's seventeen twenty three, uh, in game time. How have you been? It's been a while. Um. Okay. Let's see. Bicycles. Oh, and it's a country where you can find all garbage bins in neighborhoods piled up, ready to be emptied. Okay. These are so small, like, uh, looking trash cans. Pretty good, chilling. Feels good. We're just collecting clues, so we're learning about GeoGuessr, like, every country. I'm slowly going to learn every country and then, like, get better at GeoGuessr. Is the plan, anyways. Okay, oh, okay, let's learn the little places. Limburg, Nord, Brab, Zeeland's over there. Uh, Nord Holland up there. Zood Holland, Utrecht, Gelgerland. This is Netherlands, so. Yeah. It's, gonna be, it's gonna be a while before I learn it, but. Maybe we learn a little bit. Friesland up there, Flevoland, Renth. Okay. okay, people in the Netherlands speak Dutch and English. Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, E. Okay, okay. It's very common that you'll see English on the streets during your GeoGuessr missions, often in the form of business names. There is, however, another official language within Netherlands, Friesland. This language is only spoken in the province of Friesland. Wait, where is that? Okay, at the north, north one, okay. Okay, 
Okay. Um, all right. This language is only spoken in the province of Friesland in the north where Lu, Warden, and Hirven are located. City names appear in both languages in those areas. The bottom being Friesland. Okay, okay. Okay. Street names look different there. Oh, okay. Blue and white. Interesting. You can also see the A with a little... I don't know what that's called, but... Accent at the top. A, E, and U appear, as well as more J's and Y's than in Dutch. Okay. Friesen is actually closer to English than it is to Dutch. Interesting. Fries ka, hai, he, skeep, sheep, wheat, wet, tis, 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 cheese. Okay. Dot NL is Netherlands. Okay. All right. Let's play a GeoGuessr game. Maybe we'll get Netherlands <laughs> and we'll know exactly. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Uh, Ruma Makan Wisata. Um, this looks like it's Indonesia or something to me. Um, I think it is. It looks like Tagalog, maybe. Maybe. Oh, we got a Trisky. Oh, shit. Those are rare from these. Alright, let's just guess. Oh, that was a good song. Let's go Jakarta. Oh, never mind. We're 500 miles away. I mean, we're kind of close. Ish. <laughs> but yeah. It was in Sumatra. Okay. Okay. Um. So we're walking here. Um. Yellow buildings. We're definitely in the UK. Or the U I mean not UK but like Europe. Um Propieta Private. Okay. Um license plate is blue on both sides. Um or like white and then blue on both sides. I don't think it's any country that we've done before or like studied so far. Piero de la Francia. What up again? O2. Uh, oh, wait, wait. Does it say something there? No, H24. Never mind. And I up again. I only have okay, I'm guessing like Italy or something. Could be Greece. Maybe. Let's go Greece. Oh no no, it was Italy. Okay. Or it was North Italy. Okay, I should have gone with Italy. <laughs> Get knocked down. Uh, forty kilometers per hour. Okay. Um, it says dot com. Okay, interesting. Um, I'm thinking of South America. It looks South American, but I don't know anything like to tell the difference between 
South America. So it's going to be kind of a guess unless we see, like, something very obvious. 410, 4, 4, 8, Yeah, I'm definitely thinking in South America. Wait, wait. You thinking a lot of American cars here? Or is there a lot of American cars in uh, South America? Or is that why you're saying it's South America? Drink a potion. Oh, wait, wait, I'm dying, I'm dying. Hold up, hold up. Let me eat. Oh, wait. You know, I didn't even switch my uh, spell book. I'm still on normal spell book. Oh my god. All right, all right. We have eleven seconds. Let's just guess. Um, I'm going. Let's go Mexico. Actually, I'm gonna go Monterey. Um. Oh, it is. We're actually seven miles away. It was. It was Mexico. I guess Mexico uh, has a lot of American cars. All right. So Netherlands took a, a lot of time to read, but um, let's continue with Europe. So we did, we only did Netherlands. This, let's do Germany. Let's learn about Germany. So they're right-handed drive as well. Country flag, black, red, yellow. Capital Berlin. Um, it's kind of, I don't like learning about Google Cars, but it'll help, I guess. We should learn it. Or we'll try to, probably not going to learn it, but we'll try it. Uh, car looks. It has a little, okay. No Google car can be seen. Only the usual Gen 2 halo at the top and the bottom. Okay. Bollard is black. Wait, but this looks very similar to um, Portugal, I think. Oh wait, but this one's different. It has a, uh, it's the slanted the opposite way and it has a little white inside of it, circular, circular. Oh wait, wait, the left is the front of the baller, the right is the back of it. Oh, okay, okay. So we'll have to look at both sides. Interesting. Okay. Um... Google coverage is very limited in Germany. Okay. Only 20 cities are covered. What is red and blue? Okay. Gen 2 is a small amount. Gen 3, Trekker, and Spillage coverage. Okay. Pictures above are shown... Shows the hidden coverage... Blue lines along with publicly released ones. Um, okay. Let's see what this button. Uh, it's just taking me to mood. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Road lines. Did we get a? We didn't even get a lot of clues. Yeah, we didn't get much. Oh, dude. Wait, no, no, it is. It is active. Okay, I thought my scripture of Bic wasn't active. Yeah, I, only, I still have only 11 clues in my carrier. All right, no problem. Road lines. Um, okay. 
Germany uses all white lines. Shoulders should be solid, while the center lines can be dashed. Smaller roads are unmarked. Okay. Um, road signs. Yellow. Okay. So yellow, and it could be white as well, but you'll see yellow. Written, um, German road signs are written with all black characters with yellow backgrounds. Uh, a black border also surrounds the sign. Oh, yep, yep, I see it. Okay. Um, they also have little red um, arrows. Okay. Okay. Chevrons are red and white background. Chevrons are on a red and white background. Okay. Um, Halofen Museum. Okay. Street sign metas. What? There's street sign metas? <laughs> okay. Berlin signs are black text with white background. They're surrounded by a metal frame not directly attached to the pole. There's a gap between the post and the sign. Oh, okay, I see it. I see it. But they're the color but the color of the frame is white, okay. I think we're gonna have to do another um hour a little bit of clue collecting after this because we barely got any clues. It could be because I didn't switch to nor um ancient spell book. Could be. Anyways, let's continue. B B B Feld. Okay. Um uh, looks like this. Okay. Can use generic white signs without any special features. Can also spite spot the Berlin type signs, but they are rare. A white street sign on the wall is a better clue as they can be found in other cities, except the rare cases in Wuppertal. The text is generally black, but it can also contain some red in rare instances. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, Bochum. Bochum. Uh, Hofstetter Street. Red. Bochum uses regular blue street signs. Okay. Can be either found, in, found mounted on the wall or signpost. Text is white. Uh, Bornheimer Straub. Um, as in the Berlin section, Bond Street looked very similar. However, the Bond's frame is colored in white. Makes it stand out from the Berlin one. Okay, yep. Yeah. Okay, okay. As in the Berlin section, Bond Street. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I already read that. Bremen looks very plain, just basic white. Uh, these are mounted on the walls. Those mounted on the wall will be blue without any border or ornament. Oh, okay. Dortmund. Um, looks like this. Blue signs that are framed in a very unique metal frame. Okay. You see these, you're, you know you're in Dortmund. Dressed in uh, blue with white letters. They're not special when it comes to the style, but but to how they are mounted at the T intersection. Uh, oh, okay, I see it. They're, they'll be mounted centrally on a four-way intersection. Oh, okay, okay. They'll, um, directly on the post, not to the side of it. Look at the pictures above for understanding. Okay, yep, I see it. See it. Okay, Duisburg. Uh, streets found in, are not that useful. They're mounted on poles, white or blue. Okay. Drusseldorf. 
Herzog, Strap. Okay, okay. In Dresseldorf, you'll find black street signs with white text and a thin border. Okay. They're also, um, the signs will also framed in a metal frame. There are some instances of regular white signs, but they are rarer. Okay. Street signs are mounted on the walls. Will also be featured white characters on the back on black background. Okay. I see, I see it. <laughs> we have less than 10 minutes of my our charge pack remaining. Okay, we gotta go do that to divine charge pack soon. Okay, an Essen. Okay, Essen looks interesting. Blue sign mounted on thick metal frame. There will be no gap on the sign and frame, giving a unique design. Okay. Frankfurt am um, Main. They they use this sign. Like I like this B. I don't know what this B is, but it looks cool. I don't know how you say it. It's probably not a B. It's probably a different sound. E, maybe, or B and P together. I don't know, but Frankfurt also has a unique frame. Um, there are no joints. Uh, there are joints connecting the blue signs to the frame. Oh, okay, okay, I see those joints. Like metal joints. Hamburg. Yeah. Um, oh, interesting. Use blue signs that can also be framed. If they are, you'll only see the frames on three sides given... Giving a unique design. Okay, yeah. There's like a little gap to it as well. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of signs, bro. They give so many sign information. Hanover, okay. Um, white with little holes in them. Not holes in them, but like interesting frame. Okay. Mounted. Uh, white signs seem to be mounted further away from the frame as usual. Joints connecting them will be on vertical side of the sign. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see. There's four, four connections. Cologne. Cologne. Um, looks like black with a white border. Generic white signs. Uh, wall-mounted signs will be blue with a thin white border. Oh, okay, this is blue. Looks black a little to me. Here we are now. Uh, Leipzig. Rotak Weg. Um, what did we learn Weg was? I think Weg means street, right? I think. I forgot. Already. Um, uh, but that was Netherlands, so, I think that was Netherlands, yeah. Um, uh, Leipzig will feature blue street signs. Sometimes will be a white border surrounding it, but not always. Okay. I might not remember these country, or these cities, or like what si city is which. But I guess we could, we could kind of like tell. We're like, ooh, I've seen that before, you know? Karl Marx Straub. So, so, you know, slowly learning these, you know, will help. Mainheim will, has a unique street name system in the central district. Uh, thus meaning it will have a specific street sign, first picture. Ah, uh, okay, okay. F2. Outside the central district, there's another design where a frame is surrounding it. All signs will be blue, even those mounted on the wall. Okay. Munich. Uh, signs look like this. Okay. Uh -huh.
Street signs in Munich will be blue. In addition to regular street signs, you'll find house numbers that will tell you street names under them. Oh, okay. These are specific to Munich. Okay. Nürn Nürnberg. Nuremberg. Uh, okay. Street signs in Nuremberg will feature a frame surrounded with a blue sign without any border. Okay. Um, Ob Oberstoffen will either will have either green or a regular white street sign. Okay. All right. If you've been sitting for too long, stand up real quick. Great. All right, let's go switch spell books and uh um and such real quick before we go back to RS or like AFKing for clues. Lane to dime sticks, quorum sticks. Um Yeah, we we barely got clues that time. It's kind of bad. Oh yeah, yeah, charge pack. Yes, thank you, thank you. Uh, yep, at all. All right, let's go back. Let's go back. Oh, I gotta choose a spell book. Let's see. Let's reset maniacal or uh even if I cut it off. Alright, let's go. Stugert. Black with white. Okay, interesting. Um, in Stugert, you'll find unique black signs. They won't be mounted on a signpost, but rather onto a post. Okay. Yo, what's up? What's up? How you doing? As how you doing? We're um we're collecting elite clues, and so while we're doing that, we're studying. GeoGuessr. <laughs> so we're like, uh, we went through, we went through uh, Portugal, Spain, uh, what's it called? Belgium, Netherlands, and now we're on Germany. We're just like, I mean, we probably won't remember everything, but uh, once we start, you know, doing GeoGuessr, we'll like, oh yeah, we know that, kind of, you know? Um, so yeah, yeah, we're right now in Germany. Um, let's see, Wuppertal. Uh, Wuppertal uses generic white signs that will be framed. Uh, can be either metal or white. Let me pick that clue up. Uh, Wall-mounted signs can also be white. Okay. Okay, interesting, interesting. Electricity poles. Um, wooden. It looks like. Um, okay. Okay, if you see, like, this little blue thing, maybe? Let's see. Some interesting poles. Electricity poles don't follow any pattern. They can be any shape and size. Okay, okay. So it doesn't really help us. Um. Yeah, yeah, so basically we're studying now, yeah. <laughs> we're basically studying, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so electricity poles don't follow any signs, so I guess it doesn't really help us. Um, all right. License plates uh, has the D. 
I'm surprised why I, I thought I thought it was gonna have like a G for Germany, but B. Okay. Um. All right. License plates in Germany are super important. They use a traditional European style license plate where first few letters tell you where the car was registered. The F on this plate is for Frank M. Main. Okay. But usually the license plates are blurred, so we can't really use the license plate to tell us where we are. E for Duchess Lynn. Ah, okay, okay. I see, I see. That makes sense. That makes sense. All right, dude. There's so many cities here. Look, like, the little air, different area codes. Knowing all of them would be unnecessary since the coverage is only limited to big cities. Full a full list of area codes can be found here. Okay, no, nah, we we're good. We're good. Phone numbers are zero two. It looks like and red starts with zero. Dot .de it looks like for the URL um phone numbers are super complicated um okay yep all right vegetation it looks like this all right so it can be it's pretty hard to see <laughs> <laughs> Pretty woof woof. Well, uh, it looks very generic, right? <laughs> Since Germany is mostly covered in urban areas, you won't get to see much of the landscape and vegetation. There were some rural roads look like the two above. Okay. Oh, oh, um, uh, as uh, let me go back. Let me go back up. You missed some important. Germany. Wait, I think they they showed a little bit of signs. Uh, yellow. Um, has these little red and white ones. Um, and they're only like at the very side, basically. There's not many, and like Berlin and like the main, main countries. Basically, uh, it. Yeah, they look very generic, right? <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know. All right. Architecture looks like this. Yeah, yeah the signs are very unique, yeah. So, uh, let me drink a, a agro pot. Um, cities are usually built up with old multi-story buildings from various historical eras. Okay. Oh, well, for this picture, I assume. This is... Interesting building, yeah. Oh, shit, look at this. This looks pretty cool. In combination with old historical buildings, you will also find modern architecture. Large windows are a distinct factor for them. Okay. So large windows. I mean, okay. All right. Um interesting houses. Outskirts are usually reserved for res residential buildings. Okay. General look. Oh, it How is this a general look? Uh, Germany has a lot of blurred houses. This is why we call it Blurmany. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so, so GeoGuessr has a lot of blurred houses, so we know it's Germany. Okay. Sky will often look overexposed, giving Germany a. a okay, so overexposed sky, also Germany. All right. Um, alphabet is Germany uses a Latin-based script with few unique characters. Okay. 
A B C D okay G E H A Jot for J uh, M N P Upsilon for Y okay Z if it has little dots on the O or the accent is that is that is the oh that B sign okay okay all right. So this is all the coverage, all these little areas. Oh. It's a lot. 16 partly sovereign federated states in Germany. The 16 states are fur further divided into districts. Okay. okay, dot DE is Germany. G dot DE is Germany. Honestly, I would have thought .de would be Denmark, but okay, .de, Germany. Um, Alright. Let's do one GeoGuessr game. Or two. Let's see if we got anything that we learned. Probably not, but let's see. Um, okay, these letterings look like Thailand or Cambodia or something. Straight off the bat. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure, yeah. So we're just gonna guess. We're just gonna go Bangkok. Um, okay, it was south. Closer to Malaysia. I can't zoom in exactly where it is, but it's right there. Okay, 492 miles away, okay. All right. Um, let's see, can I see this shark diving township? What? Okay, I can't read it. Samba Tours. Okay. The license plates are small. Oh, actually, no, they're pretty big over there on that one. Um, okay, let's look at street signs. Um, Long, Long Mart Street. Okay, black and white. What does that say? Chicken curry. Coop Monday. Lunch. It has English light writing. Oh, yeah, yeah let's look at that. Uh, Zane's Fair. Zane's Fair. Ro Radio House. Uh, oh, oh, yo, there's a sign right there. Uh, dot Z A. Dot co dot Z A. I don't know what dot Z A means. Z A. I can't think of a country that starts with Z. New Zealand. No, no, no. Not, not the, and that's N Z. That's NZ. Uh, oh, 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 wait, wait. JNM cleaning. Oh, that's also, that says, keep Cape Town clean, cleaners. Oh, this is Cape Town. Where's Cape Town? It's like somewhere in Africa, right? Uh, South Africa. Uh, we're 32 miles away. Hey, there we go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> That's it, that's it. Nice. We just got it in time. We were so, so close. I didn't know ZA was South Africa. Interesting. Okay, um, this looks like New York, I think. There's a small license plate. Um, it could be New York. Um, let's see, let's see. Ninety third Street, ninety three Street, maybe. Let's see if we can find something else. But I also see white license plates. Uh, uh, Grandpa Bus Co. Dot Inc. Interesting. Grandpa's Bus. What? 
<laughs> Let's see what this bus says. Northern BL. The bus doesn't look New York though. New Yorkish. It it could be it could be, yeah. It's definitely definitely America. It could be New Jersey, yeah. We only have 43 seconds, so... O.edu... Oh, it says NY on that. SGA.NY. Alright, let's just go, uh... What does SJ mean? I don't know what SJ is, but... Where's New York, dude? Why, why am I blind? Oh, there it is. Uh... Yo, I can't find New York City. Oh, there it is, New York. Oh, there. Okay. Eight point six miles away. North Corona. Jackson Heights. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. Heights. Oh, we can't play. Okay, we gotta. Now we gotta go back to studying. <laughs> we got ten minutes. All right. Uh oh, I zoomed in too much. Hold up, that's why. Whoops. Hello, game. I mean, not game. Uh, website is not letting me move. It's stuck. <laughs> Let me refresh it. Maybe. Let me close it and open it again. Geoguessr tips. Oh no. You're at 24, 24k uh, points already? Damn, yeah, I'm ready, I'm ready. I'll buy one. It says one, you know, it says one. Uh, I'm surprised you have that much. Uh, what is it called? Channel points. Damn, you have so much. It's a 1 to 10. It's a... Maybe you'll be lucky, though. It's 10% chance. <laughs> um, I don't know if you can give channel points, but there's a... Potentially, yeah? Potentially. Alright, let's go to the next... Uh, next area to learn. Um, is there a way to give channel points? I don't know. If there is, I have no idea. Or I don't know how. Okay, where where do we want to go? We did Portugal, Spain, UK, France, Belgium, Netherlands, Germany. We can go Denmark, or we could go south to Switzerland. Let's go Denmark, and then we'll go down. <laughs> you don't want to, uh, Zoe, you don't want to use the 18k points to, uh, get another casket, call another casket. So two times instead of one. Okay, let's see. All right, Denmark, Denmark. Capital is Copenhagen. Flag is red and white. All right. Most helpful is the bollard, yellow and white. And white on the back side, it looks like. If that's the back side. Um, light, the, uh, have very long, uh, Signs, okay. The Borgevej. Halstbro. Okay. Um, it looks very flat. The signs also white and red. Okay, okay, I see it. For like, okay, okay, nice. A road number map for Denmark is currently in the work. 
uh, their road numbering is worth learning. Okay. Okay. They also have these little tiny breaks in their lines. Okay. Interesting. Looks like there's a little dash inside the middle lines. Okay. Um, I don't like these metas, but Google Car has a little tiny red, a uh, black antenna. Gen 3 Car is a little blue. Okay. Hmm. We could do a prediction if you really wanted to give some points away to Zoe. <laughs> Here, let's do a prediction. <laughs> Just so you can give some points. Give Zoe points. Yes. Yes, no. Okay. Uh, Zoe, pick, pick yes. <laughs> Zoe, pick yes. And, uh, <laughs> you know, so we'll give you points afterwards. <laughs> Did I put five minutes? I think I, no, I think I put 30 seconds. Yo, Ulysses, you gotta give Zoe points quick. <laughs> oh, you put no. <laughs> Who put no? <laughs> Who put no? <laughs> Wait, who put no? <laughs> Yo, you lose, you lost. All. <laughs> you got it. You put no. <laughs> oh my god! Wait, wait, wait! No, no, no. So, if if I put the answer is yeah. Oh wait, wait, no, it's right. Okay, you have to put the opposite, right, to give her the points. Oh, okay, okay, it makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just pick yes as winner, and then he'll get all those points. Okay, okay, yep, yep. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, you're right. There we go. <laughs> Alright. So Denmark is very easy to figure out because of the bollards. Which are mo on most every roads. Okay, so it has green and yellow and a little white stripe at the top or orange at the top. Okay. Okay, okay. All right, let's play. Let's play. Let's play Zoe. Um, the give me a bond is is a rolling a number on the random number generator. On Google, so. Choose a number between one to ten. If you get it, then you get the number. Uh, you get the bond. Six. Okay. And how many times do you want me to hit generate? I can hit it once, or I can hit, you know, hit it a couple times. Yo, what's up, Patriots? How you doing? Till you get six. <laughs> No, it gotta be like one to five times. <laughs> five times, okay. All right, all right. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know if five hit, so I'm gonna hit it again. Oh, okay. Almost, almost. <laughs> Unfortunate. Maybe next time. <laughs> Unfortunate. How you doing, Patriots? Uh, you just got done doing your 36 elites. Ooh, hey, nice. Very nice. We are um, collecting clues right now. We have 15 elite clues. I'm surprised we haven't gotten more. But um, we're just taking this time to learn GeoGuessr. We're learning Denmark right now. They have these little green bollards with little orange at the top. And also very long street signs. Uh, that look like this. Um, and little tiny breaks in the white line. Um, 
Denmark uh Google coverage is is a lot of places actually. Um most of Denmark has coverage, including the island. Okay. Either that or you're gonna have to do an hour of care pack for another greater concentrated blast. Yeah, yeah. I would do this for Kalus, <laughs> extra Kalus. But, okay, road lines. All right, let's see. Denmark has short shoulder lines. Uh, most common type of line uh, on the sides of most major roads. Okay. Um, the road sign, Sonderberg, has a little cross on the O. Interesting. Um, it's red and white. Interesting. But you need the money. True, true. That is true. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Big pages are expensive. Six mil each. Okay. Um, white signs with red text point to local towns. Green signs. I assume these are like highways or something. Let's see. Blue and white. Um, Krauvesej, a veg at the end is Denmark, means road. Street names end with veg. Veg. Um, okay. Denmark has a weird square guardrail. Why is it weird? Um, but okay. It's, it's similar to traditional guardrail, but it seems like it's been smushed in. Uh, okay. Uh, um, electricity poles. Okay, interesting. That's an interesting little X on it. Uh, Denmark does not have a lot of smaller poles. Most of the poles you'll find are very large ones near the highway. Okay. At least till you start opening your caskets and big boy die. Yep, hopefully, hopefully. What are you stacking up till 500? Um, Denmark is DK at the little start. Um, white with red outline. Uh, private is yellow. The commercial plates. Oh, okay, okay. Private plates are white. Commercial are yellow. Okay. Um, original area codes for automatic exchange from 1950 to 1989. 01, um, Copenhagen and surrounding eras. Okay, I'm not going to remember these, but. Um, dot DK is Denmark. Okay, the landscape. I don't know. I can't really tell between the landscapes, to be honest. But, uh, ooh, orange houses. Interesting. Ooh, okay, okay. Houses look very interesting. Ooh, they have a little heart in, in their, in their uh, stone or, like, garden. I don't know what this would be called. Interesting. I'm going to get the full outfit of elites with elites for now. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Uh, then you're going to start. Uh, then once you get the outfit, you're going to do your hards. Oh, yep, yep. Smart, smart. Um, you bought a third piece. You just need shorts and boots now. Hey, nice. Nice. You're very close to be finished. Nice. Uh, okay. Alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, K, L, M, N, O, P. It has the A, A, E, the O with the little dash, dot. Okay. Danish use, Denmark uses Danish language, which is similar to Norwegian, but there are a few differences. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, I guess we play another game of GeoGuessr. Play. See what we get. Okay. 
Let's see. Jolly B. Um, center point something. License plates are small. Oh, wait, there's a sign over there. I can't really read it. Um, but it's white and blue. Center point Sabah. Um, but there's also... I don't know what language that is, to be honest. This one. This one looks like it's... Hmm, I don't know, actually. Man, it's gonna take us a while to cover everything, every country, you know? Now that's Korean lettering right there. This this is not Korean, that's for sure. I don't think it doesn't look Chinese, but it could be. That's Chinese right there. That's Chinese right there. Oh oh shit, we don't have that so much time. Let's go. I'm I'm gonna guess like over here, Vietnam or something. Oh wait, we were very far away. I, I guessed over here, but it was over here in um, um, Indonesia at Kota Kinab, north of Brunei. It had everything. It, like, it had Korean, it had Chinese, it had, like, that. I think that, like, city or something had everything in it. Okay. So these license plates are blue. Park and car wash. Contact 061. Um, A20Z, A2Z furnishers. Oh, oh, wait, that says something. Wait, it says .za again. That's South, that's, uh, South Africa. .za South Africa. Um, alright. Alright, let's go. But we don't know where in South Africa. Let's just go to Cape Town. Um, oh, yep, we're 12 miles away, damn. Very close. Okay. Um, it looks like we're walking. Oh, wait, we can't even move. Literally, we can't move. Okay. So we got to just know by looking at this Gordon's clean buy one get one free ladies only get one free if you're wearing high heels what so if you're wearing high heels you get buy one get one free ladies only <laughs> all right um it could be USA yeah it says homemade sausage Doesn't look like any structure that I've seen before, but it could be US. We can't really move anywhere, so um could be California or something. Or it could be Australia. We have 48 seconds. Cause okay, actually this Bankers Bankers Hall um doesn't sound familiar. 
Seattle? It could be Seattle. Alright, let's go Seattle. It's... Let's see, let's see. 440 miles away, it was in Canada, in Calgary. Okay, okay. So that was... Alright, next time we see that, it's Calgary. Alright, or Canada. Alright. Yeah, that's good. Alright, we can't play anymore. Alright. All right, so we did Netherlands, Germany, and Denmark. Let's do Switzerland. Am I ready for double XP? Um, yeah, kind of. I'm just using my proteins for to train rune crafting. So not I have, and I think I have enough uh, big pages to. The you know, Switzerland uses a low camera, often related told by relative height to nearby objects, but it'll also look like it has a larger than usual blur. Okay. Okay, so this is Switzerland. You know, cross. Um, Swiss bollards come in a diff few different shapes. But they all follow the same black and white pattern. Okay. It has a little rounded top on it. Um, okay. Switzerland uses all white lines. Swiss uh, signs feature green, blue, blue or white backgrounds. Okay. Many Swiss signs feature a metal board. Okay. Switzerland uses a wooden pole. Okay. Sometimes you may come across electricity hubs such as these. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Electricity hub. License plate is a white background with the country's crest on the left-hand side. Okay. Switzerland is incredibly mountainous due to being located in the middle of the Alps. Oh yeah, it looks really nice too. Really nice. Yo, I, I, um, uh, I don't even have that many big pages. Actually, I do. I have like fifty pages left, and I have like, um, fifty. Trying to buy for six mil each in the GE right now, <laughs> so fifty should be enough for forty eight hours. But I'm gonna need more because I'm using some like right now and then tomorrow and Wednesday. You know, <laughs> Switzerland has a lot of unique looking chalets and window shutters that are quite common across Swiss houses. Oh, okay, okay. These look pretty cool. General look. Okay. They have rocks on the other side of the road? Due to its unique location with Europe, Switzerland has four official languages. Oh, okay. So German, mostly German. Uh, French. On the west side, Italian, South, Romanian. On the middle, for some reason, and the south, or the east side, okay. German is the most common, north and central. Okay. French is... I'm in on the French border, yep. Oh, what is this? 3i. EF is M. E3 is N. Ka. 
Italian looks like this. M A N A O P R S A B Z A. Okay. Romanish is the only language unique to Switzerland, and it isn't too common, but it's found in the east. Um, Swiss regions are called cantons, which are 26 of them. Damn, okay. Oh, they got a lot. Damn. Dot ch. Oh, I didn't know the dot ch. Okay. I I thought to be honest, I thought dot ch would be like Czech or something. Not Switzerland. Dot ch switch Switzerland. Okay. All right. Play another game. Oh wait, we have three minutes to, before we can play another game. Okay, never mind. Are you guys ready for double XP? What are you guys doing for double XP? All right, let's do one more country. Um. Okay, so we did Denmark, Germany, Netherlands, and Switzerland. So we could do Austria. Or let's do Sh let's do Czechia. All right. Country flag looks like this. Blue triangle. Red and white. Two hundred mil constr construction. Damn. Okay. That's a lot of planks. Uh, unless you have a lot of protein planks. You may do herbalore. Thousands of proteins to use. Yeah, yeah, I have a lot too. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so Meta Google Car has a little black flag on it, it looks like. On the antenna. Okay. When you have a Gen 4 coverage, you'll see slight hints of blue on it. Okay. When it's Gen 3, you have a chance to find some tape on the antenna. Oh, it's a tape. Okay, okay. It's not a flag. This may not always be there, but the country with the tapes include Bulgaria, Romania, Hungary. Oh, it's a lot of countries. Never mind. Okay. Forget about it. Significant chunk of Gen 3 coverage was taken in the winter, so you'll often see barren trees, overcast weather, and brown, bleak landscape. Uh, there's some snow on the road, although... Quantity varies from basically none to plentiful. Okay, when you have Gen 4 coverage, you'll generally be able to tell the region of Czechia you're in based on the season of images were, were taken. Uh, to the east of Bruno, most coverage you'll find will have been taken during the spring. Between Bruno and Prague, you'll find coverage from the summer. West of Prague, Will be have will have been covered in the late summer and autumn. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, let's see. I don't know if I'm gonna remember that, but we'll see. You have 400k planks. Holy, yo! <laughs> so hey, that's so much. Oh my god. Okay, the bollards are black with double orange in the middle of it. Um, the front is black. With a little white in it. With a little white square in it. Okay. Two orange rectangles in the front. Okay. There are also thicker versions of these, but the pattern remains the same. Okay. Road lines. Okay. Chexia also uses white road lines. Okay. Middle divider. Divider could be dashes or solid. Okay. Road signs. Okay, yellow, that's interesting, a little yellow in the middle, for some reason. Wonder what that means. Maybe that just means caution. Okay, 
What song is this? I forgot this song. Let me add it to my uh, playlist. This sign indicates that you have the right of way. Um, oh, okay, it tells me. This sign indicates you have the right of way, which can also be found in Norway. Oh, okay, okay. So this means right of the way. You have the right of way. Okay, interesting. Um, this is a typical EU sign. Can be found found throughout of EU. Yep, yep. Okay. Um, thin. Accent on the S and I, um, but also it has little arrows at the top. Means that is that way, that is that way. Okay, these are town names. The arrow is very prominent. You don't see arrows in other countries. Okay, okay. So you've seen little arrows like that in blue sign. Check, see ya. Um, all right, let's see. This is a sign where you enter this. This sign is when you enter a town. Uh, oh, this one, this one. Hajve Slensku. Uh, this is a sign. This is a sign when you leave town. It has a little red mark on it. Uh, okay, interesting. That's very interesting. Okay. Typical street name signs can be found in multiple colors, red and green too, okay. But that's really interesting about the little red sign, red cross, means you're leaving a town. Electricity poles, um, there are countless different varieties of poles throughout Czechia. This is the most common and can be found in Slovakia. Okay. This is the most common poll. More common polls. Notice the speakers on the second one can be often found on the polls in Czechia and Slovakia. Uh, oh, the little speaker. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Characteristic light street lights uh, found in Czechia, which often or which look like they have. There are two top. Two on top of each other. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. I see that, yeah. Okay. Like, one is holding the other one. Yeah. Um, thick, thick bottom of the poles can be colored in multiple colors. Found in Slovakia, too. Okay, so Czechia and Slovakia have a lot of similarities. Is what we're getting. You can... Find plates with or without the blue EU strip. Okay. Okay. Uh, phone numbers. Um, all right. This is gonna be so Prague is to. Okay, if the phone number starts with a six, seven, nine, nine, or nine, ten, these are mobile numbers. Okay. Prague districts. Um, Alvina Mesto Praha. I assume district. Praha means district. Um, there's a lot of different districts. It's gonna be it's gonna take us a while to learn all that. I'm gonna aggro potion real quick. All right, continue. The city of Prague is separated into districts. They can be seen from the map as well as the image above. Yep. They have 112 ter cadastral territory. Yeah. And 22 dis uh, 
districts. Okay. You can find out what district you are in from the street signs of Prague. The Pra 1 indicates you're in the first district of Pra. You can also find the neighborhood names listed as well. Okay. Landscapes. Nice rolling hills throughout the country. Okay. Specific trees. Oh, they have specific trees. Okay. You can find these fruit trees uh, lining the roads of Czechia among most roads besides highways and in parts of Slovakia. Okay, so um, it will mostly be the flatter parts of the country. Okay. So Slovakia or Czechia. Architecture. Um, this pattern of brown and white can be found in Czechia is mostly found in Bohemia, but can be scattered across the country. Where's Bohemia now? Um, okay. But it all can also be found here, I guess. Um, this is a typical church in Czechia. You can find others like it. Okay. Okay. White with red on the top. Little windmill at the top. Notice the fruit trees and the rolling hills. This is the this is a very typical of Czechia. Also the bollards. See. Okay. Car brands. Uh Skodas are most common in Czechia. They're made in the country. Ah, okay, okay. Skodas. I've never heard of this, but Okay. Skodas. Alphabet. Uh, Slovak gramphemes do not exist in the Czech language. Uh, Slovak gramphemes that do not exist in the Czech languages are A I I R O D Z D Z. Czech grampies that do not exist in Slovak language are E, R, and U. Okay. Oh, the little accent and then the E also has the accent thing. Or little arrow. I don't know what that arrow is called. Und above the C, E. Or the C. Uh, you, Delahu, Prauzem, Prauzkem, Delu Yiptula. You, I guess. Okay. And CZ is, uh, what are, what are we doing? Czech, Czech Republic? Czechia, no, this is Czechia. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. Um. Oh, yeah, yeah. C H is is uh the last country we did, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Switzerland is C H. C Z is Czechia. Okay. Yo, there's the ad very soon. Um, you know, if you guys uh probably should mute or lower the volume. Um, sometimes the uh, Ads are way too loud, so quickly uh, mute that. All right, let's play a uh, GeoGuessr game. Let's go, let's go. Hello? Wait, why is it just black? Oh, there it is. Okay, I can see now. Um. Oh, it says... Bhutan, Indonesia. Uh, Kalu, Ka Kamu, Ayo. Okay, so we exactly know where we are. Uh, if I can find it. Um, where's Indonesia first?
I honestly don't know where it is. All right, it's here somewhere though. Let's go. Let's go closer to Brunei. Uh, oh wait, we were way far off. Wait, what? Oh, it was over there. Okay, okay. Oh man, I can't move the camera. I wish I could move the camera while, like, looking at exactly where it is. But. Uh, Profumeria, holy tab. Um, Franco Martone. Okay, the license plates are blue on both sides. Oh, wait, wait, what did we guess? What did we learn? Oh man, it's so hard to remember. Um, blue on both sides. Did we learn that? I think we did. Um, H and Q, H and O. Pinsati. Via Roma. La Casa Delgi. Uh. Dot IT. Italy, right? As it is Italy. It's probably Rome. I, I I read Roma, right? Oh no, a hundred miles away. Okay, it was in Naples. Naples again. Okay, Wilco. Um. Oh, I can't see it. Die. Oh, this is Dakota, UK, I think. This is UK. All right, we're in UK. Walser Wal Shopping Center. Um, X Line Mobile. Okay, we're definitely in UK. Um, yeah, yeah, it says Dakota, UK. Uh, one to five James Street. Anybody know where James Street is? <laughs> One to five. All right. I am. I'm assuming it's. I don't know if they start the numbering on the south or what. Oh wait, yellow license plate. Jeff's Boulevard. I guess. It, I guess so. Yeah. This looks like a con like. Close to London, maybe. I don't know. It has a pretty big, uh, let's go Oxford. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it was north. Uh, it was next to Leeds. It's near Leeds. All right, well. How many clues did we get? We have 26 clues. Okay, cool. Cool. Uh...
All right, well, that was fun. Um, yeah. Hopefully we retain some of this knowledge. 